Hello and welcome. I am A.G. Mack, the master professor under Christ for true gain for all of our schools. By now, you have learned of our school's existence. We've been open since 2015 or so. Our main schools. That is RGU Plus officially. One schools, two schools, and etc. schools globe-wide. Then we have the Verizon schools. Then we have special groupings of schools. And as of late, we have added AG Mac schools. Okay. I bring to you a series description teaching for ADS. ADS. A D S. What does ADS stand for? Well, we know it is an acronym. And at our schools, we have lots of acronyms. Words that mean something else. It can be broken down for further meaning. Sometimes it can be a dual definition or more. ADS stands for American Don Story. American Don Story. ADS. It is an optional course load at our main schools. RGU Plus. Officially one schools, two schools, and etc. schools worldwide. The one schools part of it. Okay. ADS, American Don Story, okay, helps you to see some things about an American Don in an urban format or environment, okay? An American Don in an urban format or environment. American Don Story. It is an optional course load that students can take while they are attending their required for life course load a plausible hero. American Don story presents challenges in understanding how some things come to be. Things we may notice in life, yet when we begin to question them, what lies at the root of that existing thing? Or why did that happen that way? Can you tell me more about it? No, I'd rather not know. I'd rather keep my distance from that group of details as best I can. I don't want to get involved. I didn't see anything, nor hear anything, and that's the way it is. American Don's story is a little different than most Don tales that you have read or 
will read. And you will come to understand more as you study ADS and break it down for further comprehension. Okay? You will be writing ADS if you are a student attending the ADS course load. It has a beginning installment. It is only the beginning. Only the beginning. It is meant to our understanding for students to do the rest of the work, the labor involved for the ADS series. Okay. We're looking at organizations of different types. How many different things have organizations attached to them? How many different things have organizations attached to them? Some we are familiar with and some we have no idea of. American Don's story doesn't exactly uncover that. It's not a newfound uh, insight. It's not a newfound observation of the world we live in. Sometimes it's best not to know or to stick our ears and noses in to other people's affairs. We are to be wise as a serpent, yet harmless as a dove, according to the word of God. Treat everyone in a loving manner, as God says, we ought to love one another as we love ourselves. And sometimes that means keeping our distance from certain people and certain situations. ADS examines an organization in its building stage. And some of the challenges they experience in life. Each of its main organizational members and leaders. ADS, American Dawn's story, communicates or expresses a view of how women can be involved and be a challenge to any type of leader not just one that is an organization of this type. Businessmen experience challenges with women for a variety of reasons, okay? So when you have an organization of this type, according to uh, the experiences of others, which have been documented in fictional ways and otherwise. We can assess that relationships can pose an issue. Relationships. The more we get to know someone, the more we become vulnerable with that someone, and there is room for error. There is room 
for a foul up. There is room for some type of drama to play out. How many organizational leaders have you seen that distance themselves from certain types of relationships? It is not a newfound idea. It's been, it's been rather, it's been happening since the beginning of time. Whenever there were the first group of a certain kind, whatever that group stood for. They don't understand me the way I want them to. This has come across our minds and our hearts many times in life. Being misunderstood. If people have, some people rather, if some people have too much information, what is likely to happen? They can misuse that information. So in this series, we will define what is of good use and what is of non-use in certain situations while studying ADS. We will stick within the story parameters to write further. You as a student will do this to write further beyond the first installment. It is a guide only in terms of a series, yet it stands alone as a Don Tell. Okay. American Don story, ADS, has a leader Yet, he is supported by others. As a leader, yet he is supported by others. So learning how the organization's leader is supported either well or not well is in the series in the first installment. This is not sold on the public market. It is not sold on the private market. It is only available at our schools. ADS, learn about it. It is an optional course load. It is not required. It's an optional one. I hope you're interested or interested. I say interested a lot. I like the sound of it better. American Don story takes you from childhood to adulthood with some of the characters. From childhood to adulthood with some of the characters. A lot of things happen in childhood. We didn't quite understand them. Some things we thought we understood that we actually misunderstood. And seeing certain situations and incidents play out, we've got to, as a world, society, we should be 
more concerned with obeying God. For the love of money is the root of all evil. It's easy to succumb or be persuaded or be led by the love of money. Many people base their decisions upon how much money can be made. And the more they make that money, sometimes the greedier they become. Has that been you? Is it you now? Would it be you? We are to pray for one another. while praying for ourselves, our family members and loved ones in our circles of influence, our communities. Is there any, any type of predicament could have been ours, could be ours, or would be ours if it had not been for God on our side, looking out for us. In ADS, those things are no different. They show us a typical situation. There are plenty of American dogs, urban dogs, if you call them that, I've heard that term used before. So it's kind of in my memory. American dogs may not even refer to themselves as a dog. They may call themselves something else for a variety of reasons. In ADS, some things are not as clear as you might say they could be. And if you believe that once you are a student, it's your job to make it clear. See, that's a storyline that you can build upon for our students only. Whenever you create something at our schools based on our original teachings, you gain 50% of the profits. Now, our teachings cost a great deal. You begin to see why. So that is the range of requirement fees. It cannot be lower than the beginning installment. It cannot be lower than our other requirement fees, generally speaking. It is only for our students. It's not public market and it's not private market. Less people can afford the private market. It's at a higher level than the public market, at least financially speaking, money-wise. The black market is for those things that are improperly sold. that are a part of the public or the private market. At our schools, we compete with no one and nothing. We are striving to obey God and fulfill our individual destinies. 
just doing what he told us to do. As he leads and guides us and helps us to understand more and more what that includes. So the 50% of profits that you gain from your creating a second based teaching or work will be in the range of our requirement fees. Now remember, the cost of our teachings are so much that no person, no business organization, no world government, nor any organization of any kind can afford one teaching, including ADS, for one million years or better. You cannot do it. It's not something that you can just buy straight out. You can lease it. And you can only access it in front of us when you attend your course load. You will not discuss it with anyone. If you happen to be telepathic or telekinetic, you will not talk about it with other people, even with your thoughts. You will not communicate that with anyone. It is part of your confidentialities agreement, a part of your certified agreements pack, your CAP. You agree not to do it, and you agree to live an exclusively private lifestyle. Okay? Can you handle it? Yes, you can. If it is meant for you to. Pray about it. Ask God for wisdom. Heavenly Father and Jesus, thank you for all things. Please lead and guide me. Please give me additional wisdom, Heavenly Father, as in uh, this, this main school of theirs or schools of theirs and the course loads I should take, the optional course loads I should take to please you according to your will. That's a sample prayer. That's a sample prayer. You can only be heard if you are a believer of Christ. That's how your prayers get through. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Talking about himself. So we don't want you to waste your money. We want you to invest in you. And we offer true gain education. This is one course load that we offer. It's a little different. Speaking about gluttonous. People who have made decisions, you know, that bent on the law or went outside of the law you know, to survive, basically, so they can feel their belly. Gluttony. That's what a gluttony is. G-L-U-T-T-O-N-A. So we speak about gluttonous at our schools also. Gluttonous of different kinds, not just Dom's. Okay. Sometimes about whores. You feel me? Gluttonous, our term, we use that only at our schools. Gluttonous. American Don's story is about gluttonous. You feel me? Perhaps you can relate. 
Maybe you don't so well. How many of you are tired of going to funerals of, for persons who died too early? It's a sad experience. Died due to multiple gunshots or some type of murder. It's a sad experience in our world. Some people are so tired of it that they strategize. They come up with ways to survive in different ways and help others in certain situations where they can be of help and try to do so in godly ways. There's a sort of empathy there. Sometimes they have experienced certain uh, things. And they don't want other people to go through it the same way. But to come out of it and be believers of Christ. All new creatures in Christ have a past. I have a past. All believers of Christ have a past. Yet when we give our lives, our life individually, to Jesus, confessing our sins and asking him for forgiveness, Heavenly Father and Jesus, asking him for forgiveness of all our sins that we are aware of in all of them, Totally, generally speaking, if we don't remember each specific one at that time. And inviting Jesus to live in our lives, to live in our hearts, to come inside our hearts and rule. We can become better persons. We become saved. We become new creatures in Christ. And in the word of God, it states that we are to comfort others as Christ comforted us. We have a responsibility. See? So these are some of the types of teachings that we provide. Some of them, not all of them. We don't have a Don school. So get that thought out of your head. We had some teachings that we hope to be helpful to persons in need. And that person could be you. Again, it is an optional course load. It is not required. ADS, American Dawn Story Series. Become our student today. If you are an unbeliever, become a believer of Christ right now. You've heard what you need to do to make a wise decision for yourself. Thank you.